Sure, yeah, I bet, I bet. Yeah. But it led to uh, Gatorade State, uh, Ohio State uh, State Player of the Year, right? Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Were you, were you, uh, were you expecting that? Um, I mean, I, weren't sure, I wasn't sure if they were going to do it this year just because of COVID and there wasn't a lot of races, so I wasn't really sure what they, like, had to go off of. But, I mean, just looking at the other girls in Ohio, I knew I was definitely one of the top contenders to be chosen for the Ohio one. Yeah, that's awesome. And so what would it mean if you won national? I don't. And maybe a, I think I'm on a some part. Congratulations. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, it's heavy. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> really <laughs> heavy. Thank you. Congratulations, Sailor. You're national uh, Gatorade Girls Track and Field Player of the Year. That's awesome. <laughs> wow, this is so nice. Feel free, to, feel free to get up and give your family a hug. Yeah, I'll give you guys a hug. Isn't that cool? Don't drop it. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> Thank you. I'll give you a hug. Thank you. Wow, this is awesome. <laughs> That's big trophy. There's a yeah. yeah. There's a yeah. There's a lot of very uh, very cool, very recognizable yeah. names on that on that trophy, and now yours will forever be on there as well. That's so cool. Is my name on it now? What's at the top? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Next year it'll be at a track and field. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh my yeah, gosh. Cool, right? Thank you. Yeah. So the national best in the nation. Oh How's my that gosh. Feel? <laughs> Everybody's Hi. Show what you got. <laughs> National Player of the Year. Hey, what do you got? Nice going, girl. <laughs> yeah, thank you. She is the National Gatorade Track and Field Athlete of 2019 and 2020. Fantastic. Wow. Best in the nation. Yes, nice thank going. you. Nice. <laughs> yes. And for family and friends, this is, this is more than just uh, what she's done on the track. It's also about academics and character. There's a three pillars, so you don't win without winning uh, for being a great person off the track as well. So, yeah. lots to be proud of. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Thank you. That'll be good. <laughs> okay. Yes, and thank you. Hi, Coach Ross. Congrats, okay. Taylor. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. Hey, just know that I got to see the magic for four years, not it was in practice. So you deserve that, sweetheart. I'm so proud oh, thank of you. you. Yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Everyone sees what you do at meets, but I saw what you did every day at practice. So all the little details, all the work you did every single day, that's what that's all about. So I'm very proud of you for that. The, the results are from all the stuff that you do every single day. So, so thank proud. Thank you. It's awesome. I know. Yeah, it's so awesome. Yeah. Taylor, you work so hard and attention to details, and you make us so proud. So we are so proud of you. Yeah. Well, thanks, Aunt Annie. You're welcome. Yes. Guys, she won the award, and they just did a Zoom call. She can be out here with a little bit, and then you guys can take pictures. Oh, and then they said no one posts yeah. till on media for um, till 145. Yeah, until so, yeah. 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 yeah.
Kind of spread out a little yeah, bit, and then I'll nice. take a picture with you and okay. Taylor to stand out there. So I can see you guys. Oh, yeah, wait. You want to go? And then can we get one all together? Like, yeah, you guys get a little bit closer. Yeah, just behind her. Yeah, just behind her. Just... Oh, you cut your hair. Yeah, it looks really good. I just noticed. All right, Jules, I can't see you, girl. You gotta get in there. I can't see, see Ashton, I can't see you, and I'm staying a little bit closer. Yeah, there you go, okay. Well, this morning I knew I had an interview with ESPN with um, the Gatorade, like Ohio, and I mean, I've done stuff like that before in the past, so it wasn't anything like too new, so I had to get up early and go for my run, and then, you know, I got all ready to sit down, and I did the interview, and then all of a sudden I'm Gatorade, national player of the year for track and it just means a lot to me because it just this kind of shows all the hard work I put into my running and my race walking and it's nice to be recognized for it so yeah so this definitely you know this season wasn't really something to remember because there wasn't anything really special other than you know COVID and the only thing that really stood out was just having such a different season in the sense I couldn't have one so now I'll always remember my senior year kind of by this, and it's just really nice. It's just kind of the, I don't know, cherry on top of the sundae. It's awesome. I don't know. It's hard to put in the words. It means a lot to me. You know, I'm so grateful to be able to join this insane list of names just through, like, track and everyone else on here. And, you know, I just take a lot of pride in it. I'm glad I can represent, you know, my school and the state of Ohio and all the kind of race walkers, steeplechasers out there. So definitely means a lot. Yeah, especially my mom. She puts a lot of work in biking with me on my long runs and being there for all my big races. So I definitely think for both of us, this means a lot, with all of our hard work we both put in and what she's put in. And, you know, my parents driving me to practice and everything. So this is definitely um, for the whole family. Um, well, right now, uh, Tokyo, 20 well, it's now 2021, is postponed, so I'm just kind of focusing on that, getting more qualified for the trial, so just focusing on getting to Tokyo and hopefully having that be my first Olympics. And then, um, of course, Arkansas, really excited about um, going down there in a month and, you know, being part of such a special team and hopefully helping um, score points for the team and help build up that team's legacy, so. I'm really excited about that as well. Yeah, this definitely will motivate me to work harder and prove myself. You know, now that I've been recognized as like the Gatorade um, girls, like track and field player of the year, I definitely see it as, you know, motivation and kind of a milestone of like, okay, everything I'm doing is right. And I just need to keep working hard and putting my head down and doing what I need to do. And I'll hopefully accomplish like bigger things than this one day. So. Taylor Hewitt goes straight into the lead. And again, I'd remind this is very much a technical event. They have to meet two technical requirements. The leg can only be bent as it exits the rear and has to land on a straight leg and go back straight. And then in the opinion of the judges, the human eye, there should be no daylight between both feet at the same time. Sounds complicated, it's not. But it does require a keen eye to be a judge. And already you see the judges stepping in to advise athletes that they may or may not be meeting the requirements early on. Kiera Durkin from Pearl River, just a freshman in second place. And the camera takes a look at the technique of Taylor Hewitt. And you'll see there's no excessive arm movement, no shoulder heavy rotation. 
as I'm joined on our set by Tracy Sonnen, who's sponsored this event and was, in fact, the meet director, race director in 1987 for the IF World Race Walking Championships. And he's been an aficionado ever since. One thirty nine six for the opening quarter for Taylor. And as you can see, she has spread eagle the field. Remember, she is the national record holder and she's just a sophomore. Could well have a tremendous future in this event. The Olympic event, of course, is 20 kilometers. It's about 12 and a half miles on a good day. Here's Taylor with five to go now. It's a very clean action. And here's the battle for second place with two, Kiera Durkin, the freshman from Pearl River. On her outside is four, Margaret Atwood. She's a senior from Holtzville. It's a very popular event in New York, this. Some of our high school events, we sometimes have three heats of 25 in each heat. Three twenty point nine. So one thirty nine six and one forty point three. Remember the national record is six forty five thirty eight, which she set at the Milrose Games. Very consistent, fifty, fifty point nine, fifty point five her laps which is the secret to race walking, as it is for many middle distance events, is to be economical, don't go out too fast, maintain your rhythm, but close strong. And she'll come up with three to go. Just a sophomore, need I remind you, with three to go. This could be one of the most impressive performances this weekend for this young sophomore. The race is second. Margaret Atman now in second. And Jessica Grover. It's all about Taylor Ewart from Beaver Creek, Ohio. She'll come up to three quarters of a mile and see two to go. Bill Lodd alongside me will give me the splits. Five oh four six. She's inside national record pace is Taylor. Now she'll look at those athletes ahead of her that she's lapping and she'll use them to give her momentum. This will be the bell for Taylor Hewitt. Five fifty seven with one lap to go. So the national record is well within her reach here, which is set at the Milrose Games in February at six forty five thirty eight. Remember, this is all subject to confirmation from the judges once she finishes. 
This is where she needs to keep a cool head, not get carried away, because the judges can act in that last 30, 40 meters. But it's Taylor Ewart. Keep an eye on the clock. 6.45.38 is the national record. 6.41. 42. Could be just outside then. The only athlete to go sub 6.50, and she's done it now twice in one season. 6.49.20 for Taylor. And this is second place, number four, Margaret Atwood from Holtzville. She's a senior. Then a fine finish from number 12. That's Kylie Rivas from Huntington Station. She's a 